Yaesu FTX1, Yaesu FT710, same size screen. Now they are different antennas and you'll see that my antenna with the 49 to 1 ballon and 66 foot length of wire is actually doing better than my G5 RV but not used it very much. So I want to show you this averaging thing because they've added averaging to the FTX1 and I've been doing some tests with it and let's turn this down. I'm not seeing a massive change. What I'm seeing is it's more of a slowing down of the waterfall. So let's get these so they look similar. I just, I've got the D level selected, which you can just select in menu. So get it a bit darker. And if I just turn up, that's the 710. And then, now here you can see it's weaker on the antenna, we'll swap them. So I want to show you the averaging on the, on, well, there's no averaging here, so you can see what it looks like, okay? That's just normal settings. Uh, just a quick uh, rundown on... Um... So let me just connect this antenna on here, the antenna that you're seeing here, onto the FTX1, and then we're going to start turning on, on the averaging. So I've swapped the antenna. It's quite interesting because, look, the 710, which now has the G5RV is actually doing a better job with whatever this, what it's doing with the signal. And remember, this is like number one, is it, of the Sherwood report, with Sherwood list? But anyway. Okay, so now let's turn on averaging. So what you do, you press and hold function, display settings, scope. And then averaging at the bottom, and the best setting is about four. So it's on. Back. And what it's done, it's pretty effectively almost done what I did with the. The D level setting, which is, let me just show you where that is. It's just, if you go back, it's just. On both radios, it says D-level, okay? Tap that, and it puts it with the function knob. Right, it's basically like a waterfall game. So, now what is the massive difference with the averaging? I can still, with the function knob here, play around with the waterfall game. Yeah? Well, look how good this signal is. But anyway, averaging is on. And what I'm physically seeing is... The waterfall just seems a bit slower. Let's check the speeds we've got. Fast. And fast one. Let's, let's, no, they're both on fast one now. Let's go back. Do my D level a bit. So we've got average one now. We've got a weak station talking there. I'm just going to turn it down a minute. Of course you've got, look at these displays on VHF, UHF, Shack in the Box, isn't it? Amazing. But anyway. That one. FTX1. It's very weak, isn't it, that one? Now... The amount of people that I have heard saying, okay. Okay, so, yeah, it, it is yeah, saying yeah, that because of averaging, cool. yeah, so he's, he's not for trying to shield it a bit, so, uh, that okay. the 710 so, is no good. Right, listen to the 710 now. I would say 710 is doing a fantastic job. That's a 900 pound radio. These are 2,000 pounds. Turn down that. India. And that, now let's turn off the averaging. We'll turn it off now. Okay, here goes. Press and hold the function. Display. Averaging off. Come on then, turn off. <laughs> off. Back button. Oh, got a frequency. 
Yeah, now, mic. now it's off. Yeah, the everything is off. We're just listening on the FTX. Yeah, you're, you're incredibly strong with me. Uh, and then you you're telling me you can tell the difference? Go back a little bit, so there is you cannot tell the difference. The All these people uh, I'm, I'm using about 300 for years that have been slating these radios, some of the Yesu models, because they didn't have averaging in the setting. What a load of hot air. It's just because someone set noticed that on an ICOM, they have the setting for averaging, and there are probably 30 settings on the ICOM radios uh, for the scope, and that it didn't have it on the Yesu. So then the gossip starts, and the word spreads, spreads round, and every time someone like John Crook goes on air and someone goes, oh, but it hasn't got averaging. What a load of rubbish. But I'd rather have the setting than not have the setting. And of course, the more settings, the more fun, the more you can tweak things to how you desire it. But to all these people who've been going on about averaging, who have probably never even used averaging, who probably don't even know what it is, and I will Google it again like I did the other day and say what averaging is called. And Google says, a feature that reduces noise in a received signal by averaging multiple readings over a period of time. There you go. And we are in quite a noisy environment, I would say. It's not a clean signal, is it? It's not good conditions. So anyway, enjoy your radios. And do I recommend the FTX one? One million percent. Does it break the bank? One million percent. <laughs> but there's nothing like it on the market. Why? Because it's the only one that Jaw receives. So I can just go like so. I can even listen to my hotspot. And if I just try and go to this side and then see if I can find my something active. Typical that nothing's going to be active now. Was there someone there? That's six meters. Oh, that is so typical. There's nothing else. You can only receive HF one, you know, at one time. You can't receive dual HF. Anyway, it's a dual receive, and of course, you've got the always got the ability to go 3D if you want it. That D level is my favourite setting. Bye for now. Please hit the like, subscribe, seven three.